What's up, guys? Ben plus Chad. Hey, Lo, well, yeah, Bruins! Oh, you're so excited, man. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> Original six Stanley, matchup, I'm so excited, dude! Stanley Cup Finals. The last time that the Blackhawks and the Bruins played each other in Stanley Cup Finals, I think it was like 78. It's yes. a really long time. Quarterfinals 78. We didn't look up that information pre-video. Yeah, we so. didn't look at that up like, like two minutes ago or anything. But yeah, First I think time. this is a very interesting series. I think these teams are pretty evenly matched. The Bruins probably had the... The, uh, the push on defense, and I would say the Blackhawks have the better offensive team if yes. all the pieces were This to... is really interesting, though, because both teams face teams that are similar to the team that they're facing. Like, they, the, the, the Blackhawks are like a mix of the Rangers and the Penguins, and then the Kings were like a slower version of the Bruins. So it's like really interesting. Yeah, yeah if this series doesn't go seven, I mean, I'll be disappointed because I think this has the potential to be one of the better... Stanley Cup series we've seen in a very long time. I would think like Red Wings, Penguins from I'm so excited back in the this. day. What's really, really cool because the lockout shortened season, uh, it's just it's the first time that an East and West team are playing each other this year. It's just great. It's going to yeah. be super hype and interesting and <laughs> intense. It's so hype. But yeah, <laughs> now, so much hype, dude. Uh, Boston gets to the 2 0 By the way, NHL 13 does not like the Blackhawks for some reason. Even though the Blackhawks had the best season out of pretty much anybody in the NHL this year. I mean, they set records and shit. But I uh, yeah, does not but, like them, so I did I mean, do a lot last of tweaking. Year, like, eight, eight seed Kings won, so I don't know. I don't give too much to regular season once you hit the playoffs. I mean, look at the Bruins. I mean, they were kind of struggling all regular season, and we hit the hit the, hit the playoffs actually after they beat uh, the Cana uh, Blue Jays. Uh, what the hell, Maple Leafs? <laughs> the Blue Jays, dude. <laughs> I was just like Wrong. Toronto, Toronto, Toronto. Wrong. Uh, after they beat the Maple Leafs, they really kicked it up a notch. So yeah, no, it's the Bruins. Bruins have played well, and and they really should be commended because everybody thought the Penguins were going to come out of the East, and the Penguins, man. I didn't. Just, just, well, you're a Bruins fan. It does not count. I thought the Penguins. Okay, yeah, I'll give you that. I did not predict a sweep. No way. That was a yeah, complete that was shocker. pretty shocking. But, yeah, this this matchup here I think will be one of the better Stanley Cups we'll see in a while. And I, I think that, you know, for both these teams, things they need to improve on, I think Boston. The power uh, play, both sides, I would yeah, say that. that probably helps. Uh, both the power Hawks, plays suck. Blackhawks need to get Taves going. Jonathan Taves needs to really start putting some points up in the playoffs because he has not had a great playoffs. Uh, Brian Bickle has been fantastic. Patrick Sharp has been absolutely on fire in these playoffs, and that's been that's been good for them. But they need to get their star center going if they're going to get something okay. going. And the same we with can't the go through this whole video without talking about the goaltenders. We've got two amazing goaltenders on both sides here. Tuka Rask is ridiculously hot, and so is Crawford on the other side. Just yeah. Well, Crawford in this game got pulled, but <laughs> <laughs> that being said, looks like Boston will win Game Two of the Stanley Cup Finals. Chad, look at you, back to five hundred. I'm back to five hundred, baby. Whoa, whoa. Don't blow it. <laughs> we'll see you guys later.